we talk about Phoenix Presence, a new feature in the upcoming 1.2 release, take a look at Horizon 1.0, check out a discussion with Anders Heilsberg about modern compiler construction, and much more on this episode of TLDR. Phoenix is a productive web framework built on the Elixir language that does not compromise on speed or maintainability. Presence is a feature in the upcoming Phoenix 1.2 release that brings support for registering process information on a topic and replicating that information transparently across a cluster. The simplest use case would be showing which users are currently online in an application. However, the Phoenix team is excited about other low-level use cases such as service discovery. Unlike most libraries and web frameworks in various languages, Phoenix does not require a central data store, like Redis, to hold presence information. This feature can certainly seem simple and mundane at first, but libraries can easily fail to properly tackle the solution in its entirety, and those that do can introduce extra dependencies without solving edge cases. There's a sneak peek video of the new features in action that will show how Phoenix is putting cutting-edge computer science research into practice and how you can try it out yourself. Be sure to check out the video and the articles in the links below. Horizon is a real-time, open-source backend for JavaScript applications. It's built by the RethinkDB team and an open source community. Horizon lets you rapidly build and deploy web or mobile applications using a simple JavaScript API. You can check out the linked video for an overview of how Horizon works and where you can leverage it in your applications. Community feedback from Hacker News has been positive so far, so be sure to see the links and comments to catch up on the discussion, videos, and latest information. SIGGRAPH, short for Special Interest Group on Graphics and Interactive Techniques, is the world's largest, most influential annual event in computer graphics and interactive techniques. The annual SIGGRAPH Computer Graphics Conference is being held in July, and the conference organizers released a preview video of some of the technical papers that will be presented at the conference in Anaheim. What's interesting is that the technical papers often shine light on where the computer graphics industry and the gaming industry are headed by showcasing some of the most interesting technical research being done in the field. Be sure to check out the information for SIGGRAPH in the links below. Anders Heilsberg is a prominent Danish software engineer who has co-designed several popular and commercially successful programming languages and development tools. He was the original author of Turbo Pascal and the chief architect of Delphi. He currently works at Microsoft as the lead architect of C-Sharp and also as a core developer on TypeScript. In this video, Anders describes the traditional methodologies that have been used in the past 30 years or so. He then uses that foundation to describe modern tooling needs and how the compilers have adapted to meet increasing demands. The discussion was not only enlightening, but also went a long way to show how Microsoft is taking great care to meet the modern needs of a wide array of developers. The community response to this video has been outstanding and we can only hope that there is more Anders to come. Microsoft releases ASP.NET Core RC2. This release features a number of updates to enhance compatibility with other .NET frameworks, an improved runtime, and the rebranding of ASP.NET 5 to ASP.NET Core. The renaming was made in order to clarify that this is a new framework built from the ground up and not a revision of the existing ASP.NET frameworks. Another key change in RC2 is the introduction of the .NET command line interface. This tool replaces the previous DNVM, DNX, and DNU utilities with a single tool that handles all the responsibilities of the previous ones. There are a number of other changes that occurred in order to clear up, fix, or simplify APIs during the RC2 development process. There are also a number of other performance enhancements that were committed in this release. Most notable are those that significantly improve the throughput of the Kestrel web server. That does it for this episode of TLDR. I'll leave you with this video that shows the visualization and audibleization of different sorting algorithms. And as always, thanks for watching.